And when Reggie was giving his lecture at that museum, family, they, they come by and, and messed up and came by a sarcophagus during the Ptolemaic dynasty. Motherfucker looked like Michael Jackson after his surgery and uh, Villago and um, Propofol. Painted right up on a goddamn sarcophagus, family. <laughs> MBK, my brother, these dudes ain't teaching the shit right. Yes, Kemet was mixed just like Africa is today. It's the way it is today because it's always been that way. Africa actually birthed all of these people y'all call the devil. The devil come out of you, black people. Then you run and pervert the evolution theory by even lying on Darwin. I was talking to, uh, <laughs> to Brother Trust, which is another brother that I respect, but Brother Trust, goddamn, baby. Boy, he got mad as a motherfucker at me on that. And I think that video is on my main channel too, or wherever it's on Sinatra's channel. Because I was telling him, and I told Reggie and Ankh, that the human eye disproves your theory that God is not, or even, quote, I.E. And I even told them that Darwin don't agree with you. Because a lot of these Negroes like to lump together adaptation, mutation, and natural selection. But those are all principles of their own. Adaptation and mutation is not the same. Natural selection causes those things to adapt and or mutate, such as the Galapagos Islands and the finches and the birds. Smaller beaks versus larger beaks. Okay? Adaptation is not a mutation. Mutation is not an adaptation. They have to be explained totally different. How do I know that? The human eye and the, the, the eye spot, which is like a single cell organism. The eye spot eats light. That's what it eats. And the eye spot is simply an organism of its own that has neither progressed in billions of years, and I said billions, and I'm an Israelite that don't subscribe to stupid 6,000 years. Where the fuck is that at, in, even in the Bible? Bible says when Adam was created, there was people on the earth already. <laughs> Doesn't it reference the land of Nod? What the fuck is they talking about 6,000 years? Because they're stupid. Very foolish, man. But listen, I'm getting, I'm getting away into <laughs> what the brother say. The eye has no designer. Knock it off, brother. I'm finna tell you. Watch this. Tell me why. Tell me why. And this is a question I want you to answer. See, <laughs> you got the answer. See, because you said that. Yo, MBK. Here it is. Watch this, yo. My G, hold up. <laughs> Let me prove it to you. Mm. The eye spot, fam. I said the eye, eye spot eats light. That's all it's done for millions and billions of years. Right? But the principle behind natural selection says that Nature chooses and dictates what organisms and what beings will progress at what rate and how they will do that versus others. That's what natural selection is. Based upon geography and genetics and atmospheric items and geog geology and geography and anthropology and a lot of other things. But 
Doesn't it make sense that if you were to think about this, if the idea of natural selection is to propagate life and to cause it to go forth and grow, why has the eye spot not grown, nor changed, nor adapted or mutated in billions of years? And that's not even the whole of it. Watch this, yo. Don't you think that that organism would want to thrive? That word thrive is encompassed in the natural selection idea, even adaptation or mutation. Don't you think the single cell eye spot or that organism that is that simple? Do you not know, even in its simplicity, it states a world of truth. Again, it does not want to become a eye like yours that has an adaptation. Your blinking and the retracting of the parts and the muscles in your eye and the beautiful tapestry that is the eye, that is a consistent, constant what? Tell me what. Not a mutation. It is an adaptation. What does your eyes do when you go outside? It adapts to the light difference. Amen. Right? That is a superior organism than the single cell organism, the eye spot. I'm finna get to that. Watch this. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm finna get to it, homie. <laughs> Truth ain't quick. Truth can't be derailed. <laughs> the eye spot eats light, homie. How does the eye spot persist for millions and billions of years, my dude? What does it eat? What does it do in the construct of natural selection? What does it do, brother? Optometrists don't study eye spots. See that? <laughs> Pianists are most of us are geniuses. See that? And we don't get derailed. <laughs> Fam, you got to answer that because you have the onus of responsibility as it relates to who's who created it. Because y'all say there is no creator. Our premise is there is one. And we've even given it a name. The Bible calls it Yahuwah Elohim. And the Bible also calls it Ahaya Ashar Ahaya. Same Yah, the trilateral root. David said the same thing. Praise him by his name. Call him the right upon the clouds. Yah. There's no conflict. Yah is at the center of all of that. We've given it a, a name and a power and tried to introduce people to it. But the onus is upon you and Brother Tress and Ankh and Reggie and all these brothers that skint their knee on this shit. The human eye proves the greatness of God. Number one, you can't recreate it, not even with the greatest lenses and most powerful ones ever. Mm -mm. Not even an Android eye. It can't compete with these because these don't mutate. They just go bad. Cataracts, you know, all of that shit. These only adapt. Why? Because they are a direct prime creation that mirrors Genesis 1. What is Genesis 1? Gives prime elements of creation, core elements. In the beginning was God. Consciousness. Darkness, water, and kinetic energy, motion. All of those things are encompassed in your eye, brother. Mm -hmm. Darkness and light. Water and your consciousness is directly connected to your eyes. The light that it brings in feeds it to your brain. Therefore, you have a consciousness. And that is the prime core element of your consciousness. 
in this realm, that beautiful eye that you can't tell me who created G. That eye that has never mutated, it only goes bad. And why has the single cell eye spot not adapted to the point where it even or mutates or adapts and grows so that it can thrive? Don't you think if there's shade, let me give you an example. If there is an, like, this is the, let's say, say for instance, this is the single cell organism. This is the eye spot. And I said it thrives because it pro processes light at a certain frequency. What if there is shade that comes over the light source and it blocks it off from the eye spot, this little organism? Don't you think that natural selection should have caused this thing to grow some appendages so that it could move away from shade and continue to do what? Thrive. But not in billions of years has it grown not one arm, a finger, an extra cell or nothing. It's still called what it was called in creation. The MBK. Gotcha. Well, yeah, baby. Who created the eye? My God. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I didn't say God what? I said my God. My God created the eye. And I just proved it. There is no other entity that created that eye, nor your son. G. Y'all got to stop the crazy shit because you're confusing your people and you contradict science with that, G. I just told you, my God, which the Bible says is not a man. And I'm glad you said that. The Bible says God is a spirit. And they that worship it or him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You see that? That's why these niggas run so bad. Because when you fuck with spirit, you got to fuck with truth. See, and you're mocking God. I told you, John Lennon went out like that. <laughs> John Lennon went out mocking God, baby. I'm telling you, brother, the design, I'm telling you, this is from a brother that love you. And I'm telling you, I want y'all to reconsider all the shade tree preachers that these, these fool niggas, these pseudo niggas can fuck up so easy. But when they come with somebody that knows the real truth and is educated and ain't distracted by the foolishness, then you know what I'm saying, brother, y'all got to y'all got to do better. Science proves the truth in the scripture. And the scripture says that the whole of creation testifies to the glory of that great God, my brother. That's right, brother. I love you, man. <laughs> And subscribe to MBK because this brother ain't no fool. He rising me and putting the fire under me because the brothers always want to hear our response. I'm an RPG Hebrew. I'm not one West. Them niggas that tell you, uh, you know, hate yourself. You dig it? <laughs> All you got to do to be a great scientist or even a great philosopher and a scholar is think think i just put up a video it's three hours long with me and brother james cassell it's on this channel and the channel rbg hebrew so what is an rbg hebrew we did it live on sal showtime and we gave the rbg hebrew perspective what is the rbg hebrew perspective i start speaking in the show maybe like an hour in so it's three hours so check it out bro i put up some small clips of it because I know some people ain't patient enough to listen to all of it, but our nation will. But brother, <coughs> woo, who in the easy is the creator? My God, my dude. Your God. Your creator. Mm -hmm. Listen, brother, even the Native Americans chant to the same name that is my God. And Yami is God, okay? 
But the Native Americans said, Ahaya, what's more prime? The people, the Olmec and the Moorish philosophers came pre-Spanish Inquisition. What's more prime? The utterance of Ahaya, 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 in a chant contacting the spiritual essence of the earth and causing that to link with the body. I don't want to get into all that, but I'm telling you, meet me at a powwow in California because I've been through some great workshops and I learned a lot about what they are and what they speak. Why do the Native Americans chant, Ahaya, 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 brother? Because it's my God and it's more prime than I'm telling you, even the Americas. Because the Olmec were here with those very same people, the Inca and the Maya. G Money, I'm telling you, I can tear this shit all the way down, doctor. Now, I don't want you to blaspheme God. Who is God's wife? I'll give you. I'll give you a good example, and it's in the Bible, several places. The Greek people called it Sophia. What is Sophia? What? Ah, she, I got an answer to everything, brother, because I'm filled with the spirit and I'm an Israelite priest. And we are commanded to know what the fuck we're talking about. Yes, God has a wife. Why wouldn't he? In the Bible, in Genesis 1, it says that God created man in the image and spirit, spit and image of himself, came out Adam and a woman. Why wouldn't God have a wife or a corresponding energy? I said, what is Sophia? Because it's in the Apocrypha and it's in the Hebrew Bible as wisdom, brother. You come keep saying all that I say and you get, you get, you get, you can do all of that. But ain't this amazing that this shit here is so poignant and righteous that you can't really argue against that. You said, does God have a wife? I said, yes. And the scripture even says that. Google it. Is not wisdom in the Apocrypha depicted as a woman? That woman associated with Christ or God or even the word of God. And watch this. The Bible said that Christ even has a bride, my G. But if you don't understand spirit, you're going to fuck this one up too. See? you get getting fucked up. Death by a million cuts. The Bible says that Christ had a bride, which is the church. Those that will birth more of themselves. G money. Those that worship God, the real God, not the fake one. Not the one that you worship when you get mad at the church and you run off because the pastor fucked over you. But when you worship the real God, spirit and truth is the order of the day. No, I said the church is Christ's wife. That was a man. I said God is a spirit. That spirit has an equal energy called Sophia in the Greek. It is wisdom. It is written in the writings of Solomon and in the Apocrypha. God damn, my nigga. <laughs> Woo, boy, I'm telling you, you bleed like, I mean, you just feel like in a, in a vat of paper. Cuts, baby. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> Tell your motherfucking ass up, my nigga. Y'all got to get off that shit because it actually makes you look a little crazy. Look at Unc right now, G. Look at Seti, man. Look at young Pharaoh, yo. Pharaoh alive. His last name is God, my dude. I don't read the King James Bible. Brother, you know me better than that, King James. Mm -mm. But even the King James Bible, brother, if you sit down and get rid of all of the hurt that people have, you know, put on you and the reason why y'all reject truth so much. If you read it, it says the same damn thing I just explained from a Hebraic culture perspective. It says the same thing in English. You just got to sit and read it and meditate. And when you don't understand, 
Stop jumping out the window, making a fool of yourself. Go study it deeper. Ain't that what you do in every other culture? When your fucked up kings lists in Kimmy, when they don't match, and we look at, at uh, you know, Manito and all of that foolish shit, brother, do y'all just accept that it's fucked up or do you seek a reason why the, the king's lists are so fucked up? See? Spirit and truth. You can't do it in a game if it, if it, if it hurts to the point that you're malicious against God and information. Then it, it makes you look crazy in front of the people. And that's what I'm talking to these brothers about, man. They sitting up here fighting over uh, whether Kemet was religious, G. Man, I love you, man. Yes, man. I am the RBG Hebrew, brother. I have, we got a movement that's eclipsing the one West and that old bullshit that y'all used to. Why did we come away from that? Because we saw what the truth is. Brother, even the Israelites are Africans. Doesn't the Torah say that? Where were they born? Mm-hmm. Shit. Joseph even married into the priesthood of Kim. That's what the Bible says. The priest daughter, the priest of On. That's what it says. I love you, my brother. Straight up. And that's why that's why I built this. We names that I built this. We are building this movement. I feel like that because I love it so much, like it's my baby. It's the RBG Hebrew movement. Check that show out from the RBG Hebrews perspective. So much now. We ain't no joke and we don't play about what we do. And when we answer, we don't defame truth, science, nor history. Because we honor education. But more than all things, we honor the spirit of truth. That's what makes it so hard to fuck with me, dog. Yep. So, man, y'all gotta stop making a goddamn fool out yourselves, man. Look at this. Look. What is this doing out here? <laughs> I love y'all brothers, man. And that's why I come to tell you the truth, man. Y'all gotta get off that. Give righteousness another try, man. These niggas done got you so fucked up in the head. Y'all want to just live like Aleister Crowley. Do what you like, like uh, Digital Underground. But you can't do that. Aleister Crowley was like, do as thou wilt. Eat shit and piss and smell farts and all that. Read Aleister Crowley's nasty ass books and writings. This is a nasty motherfucker. Drinking cat blood and shit in his... Uh, rituals and witch ceremonies and all that that drove his ass crazy. Killed people and everything. And motherfuckers participated in, in fucked up ceremonies with him end up going crazy and dying. And Aleister Crowley teaches to talk the same shit that Uncle Keck teach. If you want to suck your own dick, suck it. That's what that's what Aleister Crowley and Uncle Keck, Uncle Keck would, yes, JT, cat blood. Brother. <laughs> G. I promise you, I'm not. <laughs> After the stream, I'm about to get off right now. I want you to look up Alistair Crowley documentary. All of them are going to tell you about this particular one uh, master uh, sorcerer ceremony that they do. And I'm not going to get into describing it because I'm not. I'm a priest. I'm not that kind of priest. I'm not a dark witch or not shit like that. But brother, that's beyond straight ignorance. That is like a psychosis. And this is what unlocking that kind of dark wickedness breeds. I said that man killed people and his own females and stuff that was with him, that was willing to sacrifice for him. Killed him because he making them drink cat blood and all kind of animal shit. And they're eating doo-doo and smearing feces on themselves and doing spells and shit. This is a book of spells. Excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all, for this whole, this truth like this. Spiritual wickedness, brother, indeed in high places. Alistair Crowley was the highest level witch that you could ever be. 
He's the one. That motherfucker gone. Thank the Lord. Him and Idi Amin. The black devil and the white devil. I'm glad them two motherfuckers are ceased. When Celia Fox. You, you wait till you hear this goddamn documentary and this book this motherfucker wrote and this section about this nigga sniffing his lady's farts. What would make a motherfucker do that? I'm sweating like a motherfucker under this hat, y'all. Sweating through the hat. What would make a motherfucker want to smell your wife's fart anyway? You you smell you ever smelled the fart, JT? A woman's fart? You ever put your face and go, fart, fart, go. Family. Man, none of us, man, but Alistair Crowley and some of the high-level witches do. As a result of killing the cats in Europe, um, the mice population grew and resulted in black plague. True. Facts. That's why I keep a cat around here. I got a cat. Where is my where is the cat at? Beautiful little kitty, man. He's somewhere in here. Cats keep a lot of pests and bullshit down. Cats to keep your goddamn blood pressure down too, cause they so cool, they make you relax. And that's why they loved them so much in Kemet. They over religious asses got a one deity called Bastet. Bastet is a goddamn cat, y'all. A mummified goddamn cat. And man, in Kemet, they had, I told you, mass graves, cats, millions of goddamn cats, family. You ever seen, boy, I don't know if y'all ever smelled probably what some of that shit smelled like, even the ancient artifacts of petrified materials. That's got to stink still today. And yes, they were eating people in Kemet. Yes, they were eating people in Kemet. Yes, they were eating people in Kemet. And they was eating people in the Bible. And y'all would have been eating each other in this motherfucking jungle over here if the white man hadn't given you slop and chitlins and cow tripe and shit to eat. Shit. Bet that shit. You would have been eating each other, goddammit. Uncle K, you would have had to eat Brother Shaka. <laughs> and you would do it because you sit up here and sacrifice as mice to bets. Bets. See, I ain't going to go into that. I'm about to get off of this here, y'all. But, man, I tell you, don't come up against the RPG Hebrews thinking this is an easy fight, man. Because we're what God sent to this earth, man. To you black people. The fucking truth, my niggas. So, with that, man, thank y'all for coming. And MBK, special shout out to you, my brother. I love you, man. And y'all should check that brother's channel out. He did all of that to just give me a good opportunity to teach. Straight up. JT, peace and black power to you, family. And, uh, bro, if you don't wake your goddamn ass up, you too old for that. You are too goddamn old to be sitting up here confused. <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. Man, I love life, man. I love black people. Peace and black power. Seen it full of crooked demons already crazy and screaming. I guess the night bears as a child. Had me scared, but left me prepared for a while. Is there another rap? For a crooked apple, veteran, a villain, a young thug. Every day I'm smoked after, plus I'm no less. I'm seeing more people. Thank you, Heather.